Hey guys, Charles here with D2ABDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today will be an Illustrator tutorial, which is new for me because I don't think I've ever done an Illustrator tutorial before. Um, it's a great tutorial, very informative, and I think a lot of people will find it useful, and it's on the Rotate tool. Um, maybe, let's say, for example, you have a circle or something like that, and you want to put stars around it. We'll just say stars. Um, you want a bunch of stars perfectly around the circle, but you can't get them right. Um, you're trying to do it by hand, and it's just not lined up correctly, and it's not a perfect circle around the circle, um, and it's just very frustrating. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and create a new composition here, and then we'll go over here, and I'm going to select the ellipse tool. Now, um, when you first drag this out, you'll notice you know you can kind of do whatever you want with it. But if you hold down Alt, it'll put it in the middle, like this. So now it's perfectly in the middle, and then if you hold down Shift, it'll scale um, to a perfect circle. So go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to change the color to black. And then Stroke, um, we can turn Stroke off, or we can select the color. I think I'm going to do blue. And uh, change it to 4 pixels. And there we go. There's our Circle and Stroke. Now if we hit I, I don't think we'll use this for the tutorial, but I always like to do is hit, go ahead and hit Control R. That'll bring up the rollers. Again, probably won't use them, but still, I like to have them. And then, I think this is very important. Um, if you go to View, go ahead and check Smart Guides. What this does is it helps you find the center and helps you align things much easier, which you'll see in a second. And I'm going to select the Rectangle tool, and then I'm just going to go ahead and drag this out, get rid of the uh, stroke, and then um, make sure it's perfectly centered. And there we go. Again, Smart Guides helping me to perfectly center it. And then um, go over to the Rotate tool, and we're going to drag this here all the way down here to the center of the circle. Again, Smart Guides. Helpful. Very, very helpful. And then um, while still selected on the uh, Rotate tool, we're going to click on this. And you'll see it turns into like a cross and then hold down alt and you'll see it pop up I think three or four lines and then you're gonna click on it and we're gonna type in 360 because that's you know um, what a circle is 360 degrees and then we're gonna type in slash forward slash um, and then the number of objects you want around it so if you want you know 20 lines around it type in 20 I'm gonna go with 40 and then um, we can hit preview if you want, and you'll see the angle it gives it. And then um, once you're done, hit copy. Do not hit OK. Hit copy. And then um, you can see it makes a copy over here. And then you can hit Control D, and it'll make another copy. If you don't want to hit Control D a bunch of times over and over again to make it go around the uh, circle, just hold down Control D, and it'll automatically copy for you. So there we go. Um, if you overshoot and you end up, you know, over here or something, just hit Control Z. No big deal, and it'll erase it. And then, uh, so that's it, guys. That's that's the tutorial. Just real quick, real simple. And um, you can see we got 40 lines completely around this perfectly. So um, I hope this helped you guys. If you got any suggestions for um, future tutorials, let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys. I'm out of here, and peace.